Finding the conjugate of a complex number in polar form is really rather easy, especially when you consider the fact that I've got written here, which is, if z equals r cis theta, then the conjugate of z is equal to r cis negative theta. So, often, all you've got to do is change the sign of uh, theta from positive to negative, remembering that we only... Um, we use the principal argument generally, and uh, so our answer is going to be between negative pi and pi. So for this example here, we've got 5, cis, uh, five pi on 6. All we do is we change the sign of theta, and we are done. The diagram uh, is often helpful to get your uh, bearings. So um, z is 5, cis, 5 pi on 6. So there's z right there. And... Remember, it's just really a reflection in the real axis. So down we go to find our conjugate z there and the angle formed with um, the real axis is negative 5 pi on 6. So that's that one. Let's try this one. A bit more thought required, but not much more thought. Uh, we've got a complex number defined as negative 2 cis negative 2 pi on 3, we've got to find the conjugate. So what I'd suggest you do is you plot um, this part of the complex number, just ignoring the negative sign. So if you were to plot 2 cis negative 2 pi on 3, you would start there, you would go to negative, oops, that's supposed to not be like that, you would go to there, To negative 2 pi on 3 and we would call that negative z wouldn't we because I've ignored the negative sign on that one so now what we do is we find the conjugate of that so it's up here so the conjugate of negative z is forming an angle of 2 pi on 3 okay and so what we need to do is just find the negative of that and we are going to do that by borrowing from our knowledge of vectors extending this line here in this direction. Okay, so the length of our, well the modulus of our complex number was 2, so 2 and then it would be cis um, and that angle there is negative pi on 3. And so we are done. That's our second and final example. Thank you.